Welcome back to Lynn's Leaves, y'all. Today I'm going to be showing you my patio garden. All right, y'all. So today I will be taking you on a tour of our patio garden, which is right out here. I call it a patio, even though it's more like a deck because it has a cement style ground, which you will see in the footage. And I am going to do a voiceover of that footage just because our neighbors are all using their patios right now because it's such a nice day outside. A lot of them have their doors open to their apartments and I don't think anybody really wants to hear me talk to myself out there about what we have growing. And to save myself from embarrassment, I decided the voiceover would be best. I will also insert some footage probably of it in bright light um, when the sun is really coming through the windows here right now because we have a deck above us as well the it's like all shaded so I'll show you it in bright light and then I will also insert a clip of it at night just because we do have some Walmart style lighting that was extremely affordable that's all solar powered and I think it works really well for our situation and it looks really pretty at night too it doesn't provide the most bright light but it is giving it a little bit more of a nice mood or feeling out there at nighttime. so I will insert some footage of that before I cut to our patio footage I did want to quickly go over um, or kind of update you on my review of the modular herb garden because it kind of goes with this we're both growing consumable foods um, with that, I will still be using the planter itself. However, I will not be using it above my sink for one reason, and that is because it just kept falling off. Even though I was using that super sturdy tape, it just wasn't adhering well enough to the wall, especially when I would go to water. I think the water at the top would overflow a little bit and get in between that seal between the wall and the tape, and then it would dislodge itself from the wall and then it would fall and there would be dirt and herbs everywhere and it killed several of the herbs. So I will be giving it another go. I think I will be trying it outside, however, and possibly mounting it onto the siding of the apartment. There's like some vinyl siding out there, which you will see in the video. And I found these little hooks that are meant to slide right in between siding and whatever that is there, I guess, wall or concrete and it should hold on there pretty well. So I think I need to hang it with a proper hook and it will work better for us. But overall, it's still a great planter. Even if you never end up mounting it, you could just lay it on its side and have your plants growing up instead of out and down. Or you could lay it on a table maybe or prop it up on a table or even have it in a windowsill if you have nice deep set windowsills like we do and it would work perfectly fine. I also wanted to thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope this helps you if you are struggling to figure out how to manage a garden while you have a smaller living situation like an apartment. I have some really great railing style planters out there, two different kinds that I will show you in the video. Some really, really affordable big planters as well. And some ways to solve some of the more aesthetic problems that I was having growing specifically vegetables last year with tomato cages and other things like that um, and vining plants in an apartment. So I will be showing you that now. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and definitely come back for more. All right, to start us right off the bat, I have one of two strawberry plants hanging here. The reason it's hanging here is because we have a nice lamp and there are some strawberries coming in, so the lamp made a convenient spot to hang them. I also have one of these magnetic screen doors, which is really convenient for letting our dog go in and out as he pleases. There he is right now, and he's going to be very present in the video because he loves the patio. In the empty planter there with the two rocks and the water globe is where... Basil should be growing, but they died in the last cold snap we had outside in late April, so I will be replacing that with more basil. We have banana peppers and bell peppers growing in this large planter from the Christmas tree store. It was extremely affordable if you need large planters. And instead of using tomato cages this year to help the plants grow and kind of stay upright, I decided to instead opt for these dowel rods tied together in TP formation because I thought it looked a lot more aesthetically pleasing and it was extremely affordable as well. You can see the solar powered box right there that will charge during the day when the sun's out and then will light up the lighting strips that I will show later on that are all around the railing. 
and here is a Boston fern hanging in one of the um, railing planters and next to it is some stevia that I'll plant pan on in a second here. In this small container with the three rocks is an elephant ear bulb. Boop, <laughs> he pooped the camera. So an elephant ear bulb, it will grow to be an elephant ear plant, hopefully a pretty large one. And it has a little solar uh, powered little light in there. These are some random succulents that I found at Home Depot that are for outdoor growing and ground cover. So I put them in that little pot just to add a little more color. And then over here, I have some flowers growing. I really wanted to add a lot more flowers this year to our patio to give the bees and other pollinators something to kind of thrive off of. One of them on the right there isn't looking so hot, so that one might need to be replaced because it did not do well during the cold snap we had. But this is doing fabulously, this little red flower here. So right above the flowers, there's the stevia in a different style planter, and I will show you the differences between the two here in a couple seconds. Stevia is a sugar substitute. It came from that Foodie Fresh line that they had at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. I can't remember which one. And I have some rosemary growing right next to it in a different style uh, railing planter. So this one from Walmart, they're both from Walmart actually, goes flush against the railing, which is really nice, and comes with zip ties. This one comes with this black wrought iron hanger, and you can provide your own um, planters for inside that. And they were kind of a bit too big for our railing, um, so I had to zip tie them on as well. Here is our second strawberry plant. This one's strawberries are a little bit more ripe and hopefully will soon be ready for harvesting. And I have repurposed one of the tomato cages by tying some twine around the edges of that center ring and flipping it upside down and cutting off the spikes that go into the soil and using it as a plant stand. So I think it looks a lot more modern and not as tacky as your typical tomato cages. Here's some more pollinating flowers and another one of those little solar powered globe lights that look really pretty at night. This has just a random assortment of uh, flowers and different green foliage in there that I made. Back there, that tiny little stumpy thing is in fact a blueberry bush that I got from Aldi. It did come that size, so hopefully it will sprout more. And then another Boston fern to finish off this side of the railing. I have another one of the teepees that I made out of the dowel rods and some of our tomato plants. I've stuck a water globe in the tomato plant because I feel like they need so much water and it just helps me manage maybe watering every other day instead of having to water every single day in the summertime. So that pretty much finishes off all of the consumable plants that we have on the patio. You can see it's not a huge setup that I have here. Pan over everything real quick. We have some nice railing footage and then we also see some of the larger planters. These plants I plan on giving as gifts. I found them at Lowe's and I'm keeping one for myself. They just have the most stunning foliage. I hung it on our like top beam. I don't know how sturdy that will be but hopefully it will last through any kind of like wind we have and storms most beautiful foliage I've ever seen. I'll insert the name if I um, can find it. I think I kept the tags on them so I should be able to uh, get that for you guys. Here's our patio furniture. These were some daffodils in that little planter on the table. They have since, uh, the flowers have since died, so that covers um, that as well as our last view of everything. All of our patio furniture is from Target. The hanging planters are from Walmart. And all of the plastic planters are either from Christmas Tree Store or Target as well. Thank you guys for coming for our little patio tour. And I hope this gives you some ideas. I will be inserting some footage of bright daylight as well as some nighttime footage for you.